Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to discuss few questions which uh, which may occur to you as well when you are learning the snowflake for the first time. Okay, so yeah, the first question is how will you decide the size of the warehouse? Okay, so this is a very interesting question. How you can decide the size of your warehouse? Okay. So in Snowflake, whenever you try to run any query, first start with the small, okay? Sorry, uh, the, the extra small warehouse, okay? The smallest one. Why? Because uh, in Snowflake, the extra small warehouse is also very uh, strong and your simple query will be completed within seconds or within milliseconds with the use of the extra small warehouse. Okay, but uh, if you have very large query, okay, large query means you are using so many joins, okay, and the underlying data of each table is consisting in, in GBs of TBs of data, okay, in that case, in that case, you can slightly up your warehouse size, okay, what you can do, either you can use the small or medium warehouse to start with, Okay, and suppose for example, in a small warehouse, if your query is running with uh, for 10 minutes, you we need to test and try it. Okay, we need to try it on a medium, how much time it will take in large, how much time it will take. So if your query is very complex, okay, when you are running this query in the dev warehouse, you need to play with the warehouse sizes to test it. Okay, there is no recommended any, any recommended uh, method to choose uh, any particular size of the warehouse okay you need to play with the warehouses in dev and when you try to schedule that job or procedure into snow uh, into production just see in in the in the other environment with particular warehouse size how it is behaving okay and the same size of warehouse you can have in the production to execute that particular uh, procedure okay so for this there is no as such any any written method like you need to use this size of warehouse for this kind of queries okay it's kind of uh, you need to always use just to start with the smallest one which is available and then you can go on okay the next question we have in the snowflake warehouse how snowflake determine that sufficient resources or size of warehouse is not available for particular query or how many resources are used for this query? Okay, so you know, this is also another interesting question in which how Snowflake is, is able to understand like it cannot take or it cannot execute uh, more queries. Okay, so for this, we need to understand two things on a particular warehouse. Okay, the warehouse is made up of virtual machines. Okay, if I take the example of uh, if your snowflake, snowflake is on AWS cloud, then the EC2 machine is there, which is the virtual warehouse. Okay. That EC2 machine is the virtual warehouse. So with that machine, you will get two things. One is the processing power and one is the, uh, uh, the RAM or the storage area, we can say. Okay. Suppose the, the storage area, if in, in AWS, if it is taking the T2 instance, for example, which has only 4 GB, uh, 1 GB of memory, right? I'm just putting my example. It is not, uh, you will get T4 or T2 kind of instance for your extra small, but I'm putting my thought. If that underlying resource, okay, underlying resource means that the EC2 machine is having, let's say 1 GB of memory and only one core to execute any query. Okay. So in that case, what it can do, the underlying data it is fetching from the query if it is more than 1 gb right like not not we are assigning completely 1 gb to the to the query processing right it's on os also will take some uh, space around 300 gb uh, 300 mb right remaining 700 mb we may require around 100 mb to be left for the other other uh, uh, process to work and then remaining 600 mb we can use for our query execution Okay, so this is how the Snowflake warehouse will know if the data is coming more than 600 uh, MB, right? 
there it is like it cannot take any uh, another query to execute right this is how it it knows the whether the resources are sufficient or not okay in the same way this is i'm i'm giving example from the data perspective right another example like the concurrency if the machine is having only two cores available and in each core with round robin they can execute four four queries okay that means total eight queries can be executed parallelly in one machine where we have two cpus are available okay so only uh, eight threads can be possible in that case so if there is more queries on that particular warehouse more than eight queries are or the more eight connection are executing simultaneously the query the query will go in the queue okay and there the multi clustering concept will come into picture if it is seeing any queries in going to queue okay it will spin up the similar size of instance to execute the particular query okay so this is how snowflake determines how or or how much resources it has available to execute a query and it cannot take any more query to execute on the same warehouse whether the query will go into the queue or uh, it need to spoon, spoon up a new cluster for of the same size okay i hope this question is clear to you yeah the next question is can we have different size of warehouse in multi cluster warehousing okay so this is also another interesting question okay but the multi clustering is like it's a auto scaling right so in auto scaling with this multi clustering we need to in the setting giving how much cluster you need to execute right if there is a requirement so we can give up to 10 cluster to execute in parallel okay but there will be only one size will be available for that particular cluster okay so in the drop down options it is like one cluster okay or the one size of cluster you can spoon up multiple instance of that okay so we cannot have different size of warehouses in a multi cluster of snowflake okay so either it will be all extra small whenever there is a need it will be just spinning up another extra small size of warehouse or if it is a medium one it will spin up another medium one okay it is not like it is first in uh, spin up the medium instance or later it can uh, it can spin up the small instance okay that is not possible okay so that is why in in uh, snowflake we have only just one size you can choose yeah but later on what you can do you can uh, uh, you can size up the warehouse from the extra small you can go to the small one if you set it that and that in that warehouse if you want to implement the multi clustering then only the small size of cluster will be adding up to the query execution part okay so i hope uh, these questions are clear to you i will also provide the the links for these answers uh, from the snowflake documentation and post in the comment if you have any more questions all right thank you and have a great day. Bye.